All right, Dale, any final words before your surgery? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> yes, good morning. It's really bright and early. Do you have anything to say, though? I'm glad this is over with. It's something to eat. And you're in good spirits? Yes. Yeah, he's in good spirits. He's got his IV in. What a big baby. I've had those, like, I don't know how many times. Whatever. I've had so many IVs, can't even count. <laughs> Did not. So got his legs still wrapped up they'll unwrap it but he's rocking this fantabulous <laughs> dress <laughs> no we're good yeah we're good but any final words uh no are you nervous yes no. yes he is like oh he is Shh, lucky he's gonna get some Put to sleep, man. It's a so sleepy time. You go sleep. You go sleep. Chavi, put you sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If I get some good stuff on me. Okay. Well, anyways, oh, it's like I think just now seven. Yeah. Whenever we got here, yeah. Yeah. This party started. Anyways, they're gonna go tell the doctor that they're ready and. They're gonna take him back there, so I don't know what I'll be able to record and what I won't, but. Probably nothing past this point. Yeah, probably nothing really past this point, but. Anyways, he's in good spirits. I'm in good spirits. So. Riley's feeling better too, and so is Brody, so that's A plus there. Yeah. So hopefully everything just goes smoothly. I don't think I'll get to show you guys the like incision and stuff, because the anesthesiologist said that once they do it, they're gonna put some stuff over it and then like cast it so i won't get to show you guys that so monica no worries you won't get to see that gory stuff so yep we're just waiting well they just took him back there for surgery um he had an iv before and they gave him some antibiotics and um some medicine that was going to kind of sort of make him a little loopy um and then they're going to give him his um anesthesia but yeah, you could tell he was like starting to shake and his nerves started to get to him, so. It is, let's see, they just took him back there and I just walked back. Um, it's nine o'clock. Surgery's at seven, so we're running late. Anyways, but it's nine o'clock. Um, they'll probably start, I'm assuming, around like 9.15, 9.20, depending on how long it takes him to fall asleep, but I can tell right now it's not going to take long. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this time to put my face on. And then I think I'm going to um, check out some stuff on social media. Maybe do a crossword puzzle, watch TV, I'm watching um, the Today Show right now. Um, and hopefully maybe by then the time will have passed and they'll give me a call and let me know um, what's going on with them. So we'll just have to the best look I've ever done but with what's in my bag <laughs> my car makeup bag um, it's the best thing I can come up with I couldn't even contour I tried to use a little bit of bronzer my blush was like so so light but I guess that's kind of good I don't need to be like all up in here looking like I'm going to the Oscars but um, they just called and the doctor started surgery 10 minutes ago so it is 931 um, so we started at like 9.20 and everything is going good, so let's hope everything keeps going good. I know you guys are tired of seeing me, but this is my morning. Surgery is done. He did great. They got everything in, which I don't like the sound of that, but anyways, I got everything in and it is 10.10, uh, 10, so it didn't take that long. Um, so they're going to give him some antibiotics and some pain meds and... Um, he needs to keep his leg propped up and he should be A-OK -okay and so hopefully they'll be bringing him back here soon and I'll give you a little sneaky peek of him. But he did great. Okay, I just dropped Elle off at the house. I'm on my way now to go grab the kids. They were trying to get his pain under control and I really just didn't want to record him in that much pain to kind of show everybody. Um, 
you know, and I just don't want to stick a camera in his face, you know, at the time it just kind of felt a little inappropriate. <laughs> um, anyways, but he's at home getting settled. Uh, he is in a lot of pain, actually. Like, the pain uh, reliever that they gave him, he's not really doing much. So, I don't know. He, I mean, to be honest with you, he's probably going to have pain like that for a, a good while. Because, I mean, you're not supposed to have metal and screws in your body. I mean, that's just, I mean, I hate to say it was kind of the way it, it is. But, um, you know, and if you think about it, and, you know, I mean, it kind of gets a little nasty. But, you know, you're, they had to put, they had to drill screws in his bones. I mean... But, um, he's, he's doing pretty good, though. I'm not feeling so hot myself. Um, I'm just not feeling well at all, and I'm just really tired. And I'm ready to get the kids and, um, get home and just relax. I just don't feel good at all. I'm just tired. But, um, yeah, so I will hopefully show you guys, um, him a little bit later when he's maybe a little more comfortable because you know I mean even though you're in a hospital and they do all they can to make you comfortable you know it's not like your house you know what I mean it's not like being you know in your bed or your couch you know with your surroundings and all of that so anyways but he is he's doing well oh, it is dinner time we're having chicken nuggets and french fries and right at dinner time, Riley decided to vomit. Not really that hungry. But I know I need I know, I know I know I need to eat because I really had a very minimal type of food today. Like this morning because I was so nervous and everything. Um, I had a package of M Ms and part of a um, blueberry muffin and a coffee. And then when I came home at around 3 o'clock, I had popcorn. Yeah. That's probably how I'm losing weight, which is not a good way to lose weight. But I can definitely tell because my um, stomach has shrunk down a lot. <laughs> um, They're not even caught. Anyways, but we're having uh, chicken nuggets you know just I'm out of the bag. Caught. I think these are like the Tyson ones. They're Anyways, um, french fries and a few tater tots that are left over. I have um, a triple combo here. I have barbecue, ranch, and ketchup. Brody, you mixed this all together. How was it? Good. Good? Preston has a headache. He's not feeling well. I'm kind of hoping this not isn't a bug. Um, I think he's going to eat all his dinner, though. Hey, be nice. Hey, we don't use that word. I don't know if Riley has a bug. I said, I hope nobody has a bug. Daniel had all three, and he's kind of mixed his together. Um, Dale's using the restroom, but he's got his plate down there with all the fixings. Riley's over there sitting on the couch. What baby. Riley. Say hi. He's like, no. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> Say no. Say I'm going to cover up and pretend like I'm not home. Poor baby. I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm guessing... A bug or maybe teething or something but he keeps on vomiting up like milk so we're not gonna give him any more milk we're not gonna give him any more milk and Daniel made the mistake of giving him some red Gatorade um, so uh, he might for all we know he might be allergic to red or he just might be vomiting up whatever and nothing's just kind of settling I got him to take his um, his Advil, but he vomited that up. So I'm trying to give him some um, Sprite or something later. As long as he stays hydrated and doesn't keep vomiting, I think he'll be okay. It's okay, baby. All right, well he's coming towards me, so Daniel, I gotta go. <laughs> face plant. <laughs> he just totally face plant it. He's doing ninja moves. Watch. Whoop! Careful. <laughs> uh, 
It's funny. Yeah. That rubbing his tail, by the way. Really He's cleaning all that was it iodine off of him. <laughs> he was uh, making his crutches a little more comfortable over there. He's got like so many cushions on that thing, I swear. See? Here, let me zoom in. Three. Let me zoom in there. Alright, so you can see the gray piece right there. That's the crutch part, obviously. The cushion. And then he stuck a little piece of foam on there. Well, that just wasn't cutting it for him. So he stuck one of those red uh, pieces of a pool noodle. Wasn't cutting it. So the girl in the emergency room said that she used those yellow sponge things for her son. So she gave Dale some of those. So he's got um, his own rigging set up there. Is it comfortable, though? A lot better than what it was. It's like egg crate stuff. Ah! You're such a dork. Yeah, he's already. He wants to put some saddlebags on there. Yeah, his new name will be Iron Man. Yeah, that's what they put in his foot. I was gonna have to put some of that uh, adamantium in there. Stuff they shot more than right He was out. Yeah. What a shame. What a shame. What are you doing? What is he doing? He's got his shoes on the wrong feet, too. <laughs> totally rocking his uh, shoes on the wrong feet. Are you rocking? He's feeling better after he barfed. Uh, what happened here? So, all my stuffing's coming out. Well, that ain't my fault. I'd like to know who put this one on. Uh, it's only got to be on for a little while. He's not very happy. Oh my gosh. So, my sister sent me this thing that was on the news. This woman that I used to work with. Stop it. Back when I was a waitress. And y'all don't be doing that around us, but when I was a waitress. Anyways, uh, where my sister lives. Her and two other guys were accused of murder. Mm -hmm. Be careful who you surround yourself with, people. I mean, I worked with her, and I was... I don't want to say friends, but kind of sort of friends outside work. Like, we hung out a few times, but... I don't know, just be careful who you surround yourself with. You know, because if they're... Even if they're bad people, or they do stuff, and you hang out with them, and people know that they do bad stuff, they're going to think that you do the bad stuff as well, so... Riley, don't do that. He's eyeballing your foot. So, be careful who you surround yourself with and who your friends are. Good lesson there. I don't know if she did it or not, but it, honestly, to be, to be honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me. So, yeah, they they think she did. I mean, they obviously think so much that her bond was set at one million dollars. Million. Yes, one million dollars. That means she's only got to come up with a hundred thousand to get out. Yeah, still, I mean, I ain't sitting on a hundred thousand dollars. I ain't even sitting on a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, I'll put it I'm sorry, what? Yes, you look beautiful. Your foot hurting? Yeah, I man, it don't matter where I put it. He goes everywhere I go. They won't give me the good stuff no more. Oh, sweet relief. The, the time has finally come for me and my bed to meet and become one. The sheets have accepted me as part of their own. <laughs> I am so tired, guys. It's just nine and I'm already just beat, but that's okay. Del seems to be feeling a little bit better. I mean, he's still in a lot of pain, but he's actually feeling a little bit better He's addicted to this, like, game that he got, or he's seen off the TV and he got the app on the phone, something like War, Game of War or something. I don't know. Anywho, but he's addicted to it. I mean, like, every time I look up, he's over there, like, playing on it. Like, when he got in the room after his surgery and he was able to actually have some crackers and some water just to make sure that he could keep something down, you know, so all that medicine wasn't sitting on an empty stomach because he couldn't eat since like last night uh, well midnight last night anyways um, anyways as soon as he was like good enough to actually be able to 
to talk a little bit better, not be kind of like a slurred, you know, woozy. He was like, where's my phone? I was like, in my purse? Why? And he's like, I gotta check my stuff. And I was like, nobody's texted you or emailed you or anything like that. He's like, I gotta check on my game. And I was like, dude, you just rolled up out of surgery. You gonna play that game? Crazy, but oh well, at least it all went well, so that's good. I mean, it all went well. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still kind of cramping. I have taken some very strong doses of Tylenol. <laughs> don't worry, it's over the counter Tylenol. I don't take any serious stuff, but anyways, but there's not really much else going on. Preston is already asleep. Riley was dozing off when I left the living room, and uh, Daniel was sitting next to Dale watching him play the game, and Brody's just kind of running around with like a chicken with his head cut off, though. So I don't know, though. Acting all crazy. I think I hear Riley up right now. I think he's coming back here. Probably, I don't know. He doesn't want to play with Daniel, so I don't know. I'm ready to go to bed, though, so I don't know if he's going to sleep with me. He didn't even sleep with me last night. He slept in the living room with Dale, and then when he got up, um, Dale was awake. It was probably like 10-something. He said that he thought that Riley was going to come back here to me. He didn't. He went over to Dale and slept with him, so... I guess he just doesn't love mommy anymore. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, um, I do want to give a shout out. Um, now that Dell's surgery is like over with, and we can kind of sort of relax a smidge, meaning I don't have to run him to the doctor two, you know, three times a week. His next doctor's appointment is like um, not this week, but the next week. Um, so I can kind of relax a little bit. Um, and try to concentrate and get some stuff going that's supposed to be going. I did receive the email though for my um, uh, my Ipsy glam box, so I'm like super excited about that, guys. As soon as I get that, I'm gonna do a video because that's like super exciting. Anyways, but um, I do want to kind of start out this um, this thing on my channel because I've been meaning to do a bunch of stuff and I just like never get around to it. I'm such a procrastinator. Yes, but I do want to kind of give a shout out to um, some some peeps on my channel. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to kind of, I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. And if I have forgot you, then let me know and I will shout out to you next time, okay? But I want to give a shout out to my friend Monica and her daughter Tiffany. Hey guys, Tiffany, remember you are beautiful, you are sweet, you are kind, your mommy loves you a lot. You don't know me, but I know that you're a good girl. Keep your chin up. Um, I want to give a shout out to Stephanie, Sierra, um, Alicia, Betsy, my friend Samantha, Kat, Cheyenne, which I know Cheyenne is not your real name, uh, but I don't know if you want me to use your real name. <laughs> Anyways, um, Sean Day, Lisa, Lisa Ann, Brandy, Lee, and Mary. So if I forgot any of you guys, leave me some comments below and I'll shout out to you guys next time. But um, I was thinking about doing like this like either shout out of the day or maybe we could do like comment of the day or something like that. I know some people do comments of the day. Um, sometimes I have comments and sometimes I don't. So something like that, you know, just so you guys know that you are appreciated by me and my family. So you are very, very much appreciated. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night so I can hopefully get the rest of the kids rounded up and go to sleep and hopefully get a good night's sleep tonight. So, yeah, but um, good night and we will see you guys tomorrow.